for some hot sauce. Todd at NCR, this one is for you. Yes, we are taking your request, and you requested a hot sauce challenge. And what hot sauces do we have? This ain't Pace. Actually, it is. <laughs> and it's picante, and it's the hottest of their hot. All right. We're going to measure that against uh, Kikin Kajuri, Kazunheit. Because something, it's Louisiana. So, yeah, New York versus Louisiana. It looks runny like the diarrhea I imagine I'll be having momentarily. I needed that visual. And, of course, we got more from Louisiana. It's Louisiana Supreme Hot Sauce. This one looks a little thicker. That one I may have had before. Um, I actually brought one from the table for my personal collection. Uh-oh. Uh, Sriracha Hot Sauce. It's a hot chili sauce. Um, let me just say that this is pretty potent. Um, I typically, on like a bowl of ramen, will maybe put four or five drops. And that's being pretty generous. So I'm interested to get another person's take on it. Um, if you go into just about any Asian, uh, be it Japanese, Chinese, Korean, Vietnamese is actually the most uh, beloved country for uh, this type of thing. You're going to see this. Uh, they love it. Uh, I'm looking forward to trying it. Cock. All right, um, we're here, we're at the table, we have the hot sauces, but Tim, we uh, left something out of the equation. We have nothing to, to dip into the sauces to taste them. Shot glasses, real men use shot glasses. Oh, or we can use off-brand Fritos. Yeah, these are from Casa Ricardo. Sounds like a reputable brand. Um, scoop style corn chips. Um, I would imagine tortilla chips maybe would have been a little more, more suitable, yeah, but uh, ah. well, yeah, yeah, can't be choosers. Tim, you get the honor of picking the first sauce. Pick wisely. I think we're going to have to go to Louisiana first. Cool, man. I like hurricanes. Indeed. Um, we got some chips. Um, as he's doing that, I'm going to jump the gun here and open some of these other ones just to save on time. Now, are we grading on hotness or quality of flavor? I say let's do both. All right. No need to let the fans down. All right. We're starting out with the Louisiana hot sauce. In case you didn't get a good view of it in the introduction. We will each be preparing our own chips to season them as we choose. I thought this was going to be thicker. Yeah, it looks pretty runny. Yeah. Let's see how this goes. I could be running to the emergency room and we might have to cancel the entire review. A few drips. <clears throat> it's warm. Again, I'm going to say probably the corn chips not the best idea. Mm -hmm. I'll taste the starch. Get a little bit of that heat. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be sweating by the end of this review. Let's try another one. Thanks. Okay, uh, not a bad start, not a particularly great one either. Um, why we're already uh, south of the border? One time, Kitty. <laughs> Let's go ahead and take a look at uh, Louisiana uh, yet Attack again. Take the camera, Kitty. Kicking Cajun hot sauce, Louisiana style. This one looks really runny. I gotta say, it actually is the grossest looking of the batch. Um, really watery, um, kind of frightening. Uh, Tim, not really looking forward to this one. I gotta be honest. That's what I think of that. Ooh. All right. I was fighting a cold this morning. Now, there you say the spicy food opens uh, up your sinuses. We'll find out if it's true. Ooh, this is actually a little thicker than the last set. To me, that is a plus. Definitely more flavor as well. I don't think this I one's... Just, I think that's better. This one's not necessarily as interested in taste as it is just giving you some heat. Mm -hmm. The heat's right up front. It's not hidden at all. Mm-hmm. Um, I think if I was making like some chili or some soup, I might go with the first one. This one might be a bit overpowering. Again, texturally, how thin that this one looks in the bottle. Something about the hat just doesn't settle too well with me. Tim, you seem to be, you know, the temperature is rising in here. I can take it. I'm a man.